Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Calf Dancers. like a hangover without the happy memory of peeing in a parking lot. Oh, oh. Oh, gosh, what would make you feel better? An aspirin? No. A heating pad? No. How about if I told you my mom canceled our lunch today? Yes! She's totally lying. Oh, oh, I think I pulled something. Honey, it won't be so bad. Oh, can't we just come up with some plan for cutting out early? Honey, she'll be going back to Long Island soon, and until then, all she asks is a couple hours a week so she can feel like she's part of our lives. Well, that's where your argument breaks down. Just think of all the things we could be doing with those hours. We could be reading to the blind. <laughs> but we can't because of your mother. I mean, my God, Dwight. It's like she hates the blind. <laughs> Nikki, you can do this for me. Oh, right. Fine, I'll go. Thank you. By the way, Coach says practice is going to run long today, so I'm going to be late for lunch. Bye. Oh! I just got a letter from my friend Judith. Her son, Alan, was Dwight's best friend. Uh-huh. Alan didn't do nearly as well on his SATs as Dwight, but he went to college. And now he's being actively recruited by Nabisco. <laughs> Uh-huh. So, Nikki, are you going to order some food? Or maybe some peekaboo panties from that Victoria's Secret catalog you're reading? I don't know. Are you done trying to make me feel bad that Dwight doesn't make Fig Newtons? <laughs> so, Nikki, help me out here. I've tried to tell my friends that you're a showroom dancer and not a stripper, but I must not be explaining it well. Besides the fact that strippers make more money, what's the difference again? <laughs> tell me something. These friends of yours, can other people see them too? <laughs> Where do I... I thought you got hit in the groin while you're bleeding from the head. Do I got to bleed from the head? Well, you know what? That's because the quiet baby has worked very hard and he has graduated to bleeding from the head. Why do I waste a $2 blood capsule on you when you can't even sell the idea of... Oh! I got my jimmies are in my tummy! Yeah! Oh! Ow! Hey. hey. Coach, can we finish this drill after lunch? Because I know I still got to bleed from the mouth and the ears, but I'm running really late. Wall it up, crybaby. Gentlemen, we have a guest here, Mr. Stevens, today, who's directing a music video starring one of those midriff bearing, rum-shaking mini-divas whose music is quite popular with the young people. 
Although I consider it the work of Satan. <laughs> okay, guys, we got an idea for a video where real live wrestlers do a little bit of dancing. And you are all invited to audition. Hey, 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 excuse me. Um, are there going to be any female dancers in this video? Because my wife is a phenomenal dancer. I got 60 seconds. Give me your best pitch. Okay, um... 16 years of dance training, a great attitude, and if her mother could just see her in one music video before her vision completely leaves her... Man! You talking out of your ass. <laughs> but, considering I started out as Puff Daddy's car stereo guy and now I'm directing videos, I respect that. <laughs> Have a come down. Thank you. Thank you so much. You won't regret it. And, hey, by the way, Puff Daddy drove by my house once. Kicking sounds, dude. All I'm saying, dear, is I want to have grandchildren before I'm dead. <laughs> no, Mother White. You'll never die. <laughs> I just think motherhood might be a more suitable profession than this so-called dance career of yours. Hi, hi, sorry. My I'm career sorry. is not so-called. It is totally called. All right, didn't miss the good stuff. <laughs> Hi, hey, guess Hang what? Hang on a second.